Following the Battle of Cheriton Wood, Sir William Waller's victorious army marched to the royalist wartime capital of Oxford. Along with General Essex's army, the two parliamentarian armies began their siege. King Charles knew that Oxford did not have enough provisions to last through a long besiegement. In a move to draw away enemy pressure from Oxford, Charles' army began a feint northward. Essex went south to help relieve Prince Maurice's besiegement of Lyme. Waller's men followed Charles' army from Oxford. The two opposing armies were separated by the Cherwell River. When Waller saw that the rear of Charles' army was straggling behind, he saw the opportunity to apply a pincer attack on the Royalists. In a battle now known as Cropperty Bridge, the Earl of Northampton, and the Earl of Cleveland were surrounded by the enemy. Being outnumbered and outmaneuvered, the men had to fight their way out of Waller's trap. After a vicious fight, the young Northampton was somehow able to brawl away Waller's own men, while Cleveland's men took on four times their own number. Charles eventually got word of the peril of his rearguard. The Royalists hastily marched back to defend their brothers in arms. The parliamentarians retreated back across the Cherwell. After the two armies were stationary on the opposing banks of the river for the rest of the day, the royalists waited until nightfall, then slipped away continuing their feint northward. The Battle of Cropperty Bridge fought on June 7, 1644, was a stunning victory for the royalists. However, this was the battle immediately prior to Marston Moor.